Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. Let me double check that before I go herring off into the wild blue on it. Yes, I do want to go up here and I want to turn right at the... I want to take my next right. As soon as I start going uphill, I want to take the next right. And then once I've done that, I want to follow that road to the end. And turn uh, left, is it? I think I do. Anyway, I, I, I know that I want to go this way. Turn right there. Just before we get to the resort. Follow this road to the end. Turn left. I follow this one all the way to the end. There's a long way to go. If we get this land up here, like any deliveries that we might be making, anything like that, we've got a very long way to drive in order to be able to do it. I am wondering if another clause that we should say is that when we come to spend the night on anything like any time we go to spend the night all of our machinery has to be back on our land we're not allowed to overnight any of our own machinery on anyone else's land just for a little bit of challenge so we will have to think very carefully about whether or not we go and buy cheap land right up in the mountains because it's an awful long way to go with going back for a little bit of sleep um quite so sure about that one yeah I, i'm really not sure about that as a rule that that that's uh, a, a a maybe rather than a definite i do like the trip up here though i do like i i do really like this trip i i think this is absolutely amazing having to get all the way up here but it is it's a long way to go this is a very very long way to go this would be more something now, if, if I was actually doing this as a time lapse, I would seriously consider sort of doing this and building a farm all the way up here, right up in the mountains. You're going up a lot of steep land in order to get up here. But I'm not sure this is something that I want to do in this series. This this could be a little bit too excessive because this, this road is a long way up. That's the edge. That's the very, very edge of the map right there. So much on the edge of the map that you can't even see me anymore. I've fallen off the edge. I have to zoom right in to be able to see me. There, there I am. So this is the edge of our land. That would be it right there. That piece right there. And I'm, I'm right on the very edge of that. It would be this slice in here. Helper I has a nearly full grain tank. We'll, we'll go and have a look at that. Let's just have a look. This would be the bit of meadow that we would consider buying. Is this piece up here? All right, we've got trees on here. We could go and fell those if we wanted to, and we could plow that up. It's a little extreme, going along and plowing it all up. But there's trees here, and those are valuable. We could get those. We could ferry them down out of the mountains. Um, get some more meadow land going up here. But it's, it's a long way up, isn't it? This is a very, very long way up. Let's just hop back down to you a second and do some stuff with that one uh turn you around go over here you're 95 percent at the moment you've got to be nearly very almost full i think that we will get everything into these trailers but i'm not 100 percent sure on that all right and empty that little bit out into there i don't think we're going to get very much more into this back trailer Nope, there we go. Right. And uh, now we can start unloading into the front trailer. Oh, maybe we're not going to actually finish this field. And to bring you up to there, and then I am going to change this one over now. I'm going to switch over to you, to you over there, and I'm going to do that. So what he'll do is he'll now turn round on himself, and he will just sort of start moving up and down in straight lines. 900 litres left in there, 600 almost empty yeah I got a I got room for a thousand we're, we're not going to be able to get it all in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and deliver this over to the station so that then I can come back and get that last little bit of grain I'm actually hoping that that last little bit of grain at least that we've got in that combine will be enough to complete the job so I will get some more money 
from doing this. Now, I know that our truck is way off up in the mountains at the moment. We will come back to that one, and we will do something with it. But right now, I'm not going to worry about it. I want to go up here, turn in this way, and take this over here, and then put it into the grain mill, and we're going to sell it. That's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to put this in, and as soon as I've done that, I'm then going to transfer it into the train, because it's the Felsbrun grain thing that we, we, we've got to send it to, isn't it? Now, none of this map is really suited to very large machinery. I am wondering if I should limit my tractors to a set amount of horsepower, whether that is a restriction we should put into the series or not. I don't know. That, that might be something that you think is not necessary at all, and it's, it's not something that we should do. Uh, on the other hand, you may actually really love that idea. It may be something that you think is absolutely indefinite. I am putting this in the right one, aren't I? It's going to be a bit of, yeah, railroad silo west right there. There. Uh, take a look in here, and you can see there, silos other. I got 9,500 litres in there already. Okay, and move on to the second trailer and tip that out into there. I'm just going to turn off that beacon in a minute. Tip all of that one in. Start the locomotive up. Ooh, I love that. I never noticed that before. Turn it off. You get that. Come up so that it touches the piece underneath. And then it's got its constant supply of power. I'm not really familiar with trains, so I, I didn't know that that was how they work. But I think that is very, very cool. Uh, I need to... We need to slow down a bit. I need to switch to the front carriage right here because this one takes grain there like that and I want to open that one there I'm going to put the grain all into this front one and go like that got 20,000 litres of grain in there wheat coming in let's go to you I want to go to harvesting right there I'm on 80% complete right now you need to deliver the wheat to Felsbrun grain mill I got 20,000 litres of wheat in this train so that's going to close up there now I'm just going to switch over to the combine a minute <laughs> oh that is brilliant that was not supposed to <laughs> that was not supposed to happen yeah that, that, that wasn't quite part of the master plan what I'd like to do is I'd like to finish the actual job before before I send the train off so that I've got the highest percentage done and then the last little bit of percentage like we'll sell all the grain and then it, and, well I suppose it's not going to make any difference is it it'll still say job complete when I've done this so that, that won't actually make any difference I didn't think of that right start doing that start you up off you go. You, we just need to send you on down the tracks. There is nothing else that we need to worry about. You are going to make us our first fortune. We are almost a thousand euros in the hole from employing someone else to do our dirty work for us. I have no regrets about that. No regrets. Absolutely no regrets at all. 777 in wage payments right there. I don't regret it. Definitely don't. So 987. So you're going to go all the way through. And the sale point is further along. It's where it dumps us out. So I'm wondering if it's going to happen. The sale point. There. Do you want the train to... S oh! Oh, that is awesome. You get the choice every time. Yes. Contract is finished. I sold the goods. It says minus 1,000, so I didn't get anything else on that one. But I still got 1,600 litres of wheat on this combine. Look at that. 1,700 litres. So now what I can do is I can take this and I can go and find the best price that we've got on the map. For the remainder, which is 389 at the grain mill. The grain mill is actually... Railroad silo E. So grain is this one right next door to me. Is that one in there? That should probably be quicker to drive the combine. Is that a fence around? No, that's just... 
technically I shouldn't drive out here, but it's going to be quicker for me to just drive. No, no, that is a fence. Right. Yeah, let's let's do this properly. Let's go and get the tractor and trailer and bring that one back. And then we will get that grain unloaded, sell that at the next spot, and then we can complete the contract. So that we've got a little bit of income coming in. That, I'm hoping, will be enough so that we can go and buy some fertilizer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another contract job. And I'm going to see if I can purchase the fertilizer. Ooh, what? No, what we can do is before we return the stuff with the fertilizer, I can unload the fertilizer that's already in the sprayer. And I can load it up onto the next one. So if I'm not able to use the same sprayer, I can still... Yeah, I, I'm still able to go and do the job properly. Uh, you, I want to just put that one out a minute. And then I want to tab over to this tractor here. I didn't expect the engine to stop quite so soon. How long does it take the train to come back then? Right, the train comes back. You've, you've actually got to physically catch the train when it comes back through if you want to be able to use it, which is a little bit of a nuisance. So let's tip that out in there. We've got 1,700 litres in here, which is not a huge amount of money, but it is some. We're at 389 per 1,000 litres. I've got 1,700. So I've got maybe $500, $600 coming in. If about the uh, euro, sorry. 550 euros, I think, thereabouts. It's going to come in from selling this tiny little bit of grain that I've got right here. I cannot go and get all the straw. It's not something we can do. Like, our contract is not for the straw. So, if I was to go and get a mod that allows you to go and pick up all of the straw or anything along those lines, um, technically that would be stealing. I, I would be stealing the straw off of the field rather than doing what the farmer wants me to do. Uh, so we're def we're going to say a definite no on anything like that. Not going to be gathering up straw on anything. So I'll bring you up onto there and tip that one. Out. Oh, I need to actually select the trailer, don't I, to tip there. I'll tip that bit out in there. And I got 662 harvest income for that one. That's actually pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Now, I got those two trailers there. I can leave those behind. I don't need them. I don't need to combine. Everything's finished. Results over here. I got no reimbursements. Lease cost was 350. I now get 1,872 income coming in from this one. So collect that job right there. So I've got a couple of others. They're all fertilizing jobs, unfortunately. And this is where it's going to get tricky. I got 1,500 euros. Is that going to be enough for me to actually be able to buy any fertilizer at all? i got a feeling it's not. This is what's concerning me. Pallets right here. <laughs> 3,200 euros to go and buy that. I don't have enough to buy any fertilizer. Uh, that fertilizer... Oh, right. Wait a minute. What about... Big bags. What's the big bag fertilizer? That's 1,900. I don't have enough to buy any of that either. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck now. I don't have any money. I got, I got no way of buying the fertilizer in order, to, in order to do my first job. I managed to do this other job, but that's it. I've, I've got nothing else. I don't know where the mod is for refreshing the... Um, the fertilizer things either at 3,200. What have I got? Have, have I got any stations around that I can go and buy stuff? I can get fuel there. That's a lime station, but I don't have any jobs for doing lime on anything. That's another lime station there. Uh, I got an animal dealer up here. That's it. Contracts, fertilizing, 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 fertilizing. They're, they're all fertilizer. I could take another one. I could get the machinery from it so that I'm spreading that. But I don't have enough to get that either. I'm 1,500 euros. And the other bag of fertilizer, as we just see, is 1,900. So liquid fertilizer is way out of my league. This fertilizer is still a bit out of my league. I, I'm, 
yeah, I'm... I'm up the creek without a paddle at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not quite sure what to do with this. I mean, there should be a new contract coming up on field two at some point. Well, I don't know when that will be. I'm just going to have to say no to this contract as well. We're just going to say that this contract has failed and I'm going to return it. Well, I suppose I can keep hold of this contract. It won't change. I mean, I do get 3,200 when I eventually complete it. I've just got to actually complete the thing in the first place. I'm going to cancel it. Yes, I'm going to cancel that contract. We're not able to take that one on. I've bitten off more than I can chew just now. So I'm going to go to this one. We're way up in the mountain and we are investigating the potential for buying this field here. Honestly, I don't think this is the field that we want to buy. I think we want to be further down at the mountains. Now, I am going to start fast forwarding time a bit. We'll go to... You know what? Let's just go a flat out 120 times speed. And I'm going to... Oh, wait. No, there's... Uh, I just want to make sure that I've got the... Plant growth is on slow. That's good. That's what I want. Right. I just wanted to make sure of that. Because that means the contracts uh, will sort of cycle through a little bit slower as well. Which would make it a little bit easier for us to sort of deal with. Um, I'm going to drive all the way back down to the valley. We'll keep fast forwarding time now until probably middle of the afternoon. And we'll see if we get any new contracts. Otherwise we're going to have to like fast forward all the way through the night. And see if we get anything fresh in the morning. I'd like a contract for doing some work on field 22. Uh, plowing, cultivating, that sort of stuff. But I'd like some other ones to turn up as well. Some more harvesting work. Ideally, I'd like two contracts to turn up. And I want to see if I can mix machinery. And we can get an idea with the whole fertilizing thing. That, that would be quite handy. So let's keep on heading down this hill. I love this drive down. Loving a drive down. But getting up to the top there is going to be rather tricky. And I'm not sure it's something that we want to be doing on a regular basis. Right, that could be rather a difficult thing to do. Giants released a trailer, by the way, for this map. Um, they've made it fully compatible with Seasons. And they released a Seasons trailer so that you can have a look at what it's like with Seasons. Because I can imagine those of you who are fans of Seasons... This map would be quite magnificent with it because of the snow cover. You'd need a geo, I would guess, for a really mountainous region. So you can really pile on the snowfall that would happen up here. Um, just to give it that extra level of realism and make it more challenging for you to work through. That could be quite entertaining. It's not something I'm going to do for the hardcore series. It's not something I would like to. I'm just going to keep this on normal gameplay for this one. Um, I don't really want to bring in the seasons. I've got seasons going on my time-lapse series. I don't really want to bring in any more of that kind of gameplay at the moment. Okay, let's slow that down to go to one times. Uh, go back over here a minute. I want to have a look at land. It was that piece right there, so I need to get across the river... So either back there or go up into town and take... I'll go into town. I'll take the first right at the roundabout. T-junction, turn left. And then it's it's literally there behind the sawmill. A little bit of land in there. That might be the one that we want to go for. It depends how steep it is for building on, I suppose. Um, contracts. What do we got? Those two are just sitting as failed. There's nothing that I can do. Ooh, wait. Collect. Oh, I see. You've got, to, you've got to press collect for them to move on and, and like, go to pastures new. Field 24, I've got baling. Mow the grass, dry it with a tedder, and then bale it. That's field 24. Where is field 24? Is over here. Right. And then i got to transport it to the barn, which is all the way out there. Use your own equipment or reduce the reward by 800. 7,800 already. So, seven grand. That's a good contract. That is a good contract, and that could open up the possibility for all of these fertilizing jobs that are being offered. I got a harvesting job right here on field five. That's canola in there. Take that to the grain mill. So, where's field five? Uh. Oh, it's up there. About as far away as you can get. Just make life difficult. 
We'd have to be doing a lot of road work if we were to do that one. I kind of like the idea of it, though, because that's a lot of money. And it could end up being better than what we get for Field 5 over here. What's the price for canola? 684 at the grain mills. That's a nice price as well. All right, we'll do that. We're going to take Field 5. We're going we're gonna to borrow the items. And we're going to accept this one as well. And we're also going to borrow those items. So I can put some hired help working on those. Before I actually start driving out to those fields, though, I'm going to take a little bit of a stroll with this one over to this new, this other parcel of land that we potentially want to be looking at for building on, for building our own property. Uh, it's a little bit more pricey than the one up in the mountains. The one up in the mountains, actually, it's not a lot different, is it? I forget what the prices were. That one all the way up there is 120,000. This one over here is 125. There's very little in it, right? You've got six, there's about six, seven thousand in it. So very, very little in it. This one down here being right next to town definitely feels to me like it would be the sensible choice, right? I, I cannot think of any good reason why we would want to cripple ourselves with one way up in the mountains when this one here does seem to be a really good option. The land is relatively level. That is actually pretty good. Let's let's get out onto this field a minute and have a little look round, shall we? So we've we've got a little piece over here. We can build some like we can put sheds along the bottom there for vehicles, which got access straight out onto that road, which they're out there, which means that we've got access to all of the fields, and we're pretty close by, right? We, we come out from here, and we can head round, get through town, and we've got access to everything over here. It's a fairly central location. The only improvement would be maybe that one there, which is not one that we can afford at the moment. That's like uh, nearly 400,000 euros to go and get the parcel over there. Uh, there's also a lovely flat piece of land up here. This is nearly level up here. This is fantastic. That screams cattle yard to me. Like we could have our mountain cows up here. This is absolutely screaming for development, for putting up cattle pens. This, this is perfect. This, we could do this. I can see this happening. I mean, look at it. Go to the animal pens in here. I haven't got any extras at the moment. Um, I was thinking we would just use the standard ones. Just large cow pasture right there. 300,000. Um, going for that one. Bring it in in here. Um, no, quite yet. I am officially loving the idea of a cattle pen right here. It is nice and level. I think this plot of land could actually be perfect for building up our farm and actually like you know completely turning this into our farm we can start off by doing some mowing in that here there's nothing to stop us from doing that and then we can sort of develop it as we go on and the, the area that we mow we get smaller until we go buy some other stuff um we just dry and i'm just uh, like clonking around a bit here this is the yard that the base game sort of has the whole farm set up in and incidentally that is a pre-built cattle pen it's already put down right there in the middle and if you go with the base game um like the easy start bit where it's already built you do also start with i think it's 10 cows in the pen in there they've also got some food and stuff laid in you've got um a, a selection of machinery in some sheds here uh, the house over there in that corner, um, it does actually look pretty good. It does look nice. It's, it's definitely worth looking at. Um, I haven't really bothered showing it in any... Uh, well, I haven't made a video to show it because I didn't think it was necessary. Every Farming Simulator YouTuber will be doing a video on it. So you'll get... There's, there's plenty of content out there that's showing it. I didn't think you needed me just to sort of wander around and, and take a quick look at that. Um, I've got this whole series going on this map. So that's that's my take on this map. And I am really impressed with this place. I'm loving this place. I really am. Right. Let's pause here. We're, we're going to 
and pause here with my vehicle. Um, this is where I'm thinking that I'm I'm going to buy the land unless I hear differently. I, I definitely think that is the one. Um, probably this bit that I'm saying right now, you're not going to see until uh, sort of later on. Like it's 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 going to be. I'm um, I'm trying to do everything. So I, 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 I'm trying to do my recording so that I've not gone too far ahead on anything to start with. I would like to be able to, um, like, get my feedback and so on. So I've asked all the questions I wanted to ask. This bit here could very well be um, next week. I could be on next week by now. You'll know what I mean if, you're, or if I'm already on next week. You'll know what I mean anyway. Right, I'm going to bring you over there. And then I'm going to switch back. All oh, the co the train is coming back through. Train's back in town. And uh, now I'm going to go and get this combine hooked on here. Let's not get the combine stuck before we actually get started, shall we? We've got a nice lot of machinery here, all lined up and ready to go. Ooh! Oh, sweet! Look at that! Look! 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 Look at this! This is brilliant! I got the merge max. We get to use that one for doing our baling over here. We we're going to be making hay, so we got to make sure that we actually turn it into hay first. But then we have the merge max to be able to um, row it all up. I really like that one. He's nice and fast. This is quite cool being able to use that one. Something that I like with the you know the mod that I've got that I said where we could use the mod in order to. Um, do faster machinery and have faster machinery, it doesn't appear to have altered the speed of the machinery that we get for doing the contracts. So we have standard speed machinery for doing the contracts. We only have the option to increase the working speed of the machinery that we go and buy. I don't know if you want me to do that yet. I have absolutely no idea. You may decide you hate that idea, um, and that is too far too unrealistic, especially considering I've already stated quite clearly that I will be using um, auto load. That may be enough unrealism for you. You, you may not want me to do anything else. Uh, that's fair enough. I'm, I'm more than happy to abide by those rules. Now, which tractor is supposed to be for... Oh! That tractor over there is supposed to be for the mowing. This one here is supposed to be doing the grain carting. Um, I may end up having this tractor do the mowing, though, because, you know, they've got that beautiful big baler right there. I'm going to switch you off anyway. I'm going to go to the combine right here. Oops. Bring that one up there like that. There. Right, now we can start heading off to the next field. Um, I am actually going to take a quick pause in my... Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. So we're going to just sit here by the resort and, or hotel, resort type thing. Very fancy building anyway, far more than I can afford to actually stay in. And we're going to admire the view because it is absolutely gorgeous up here. It is stunning. As a big thank you to some of the people who have supported us with the channel your names are coming up on the screen right now if you've enjoyed the episode then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later